So I did this. I did it for days and days and days. And it was a time when I had to get uncomfortable. I had to step out of my comfort zone because I had to stretch myself. And when you stretch yourself, this is when you start growing. And this is when you start seeing results and a positive transformation. Hi there, my name is Mohammed, and I'm a third year medical student studying in London. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here today because today I want to offer you a really powerful tool that can inshallah help you become a better you and a better version of yourself in any aspect of your life. And that could be your physical life, your emotional life, your spiritual life, your intellectual life, and even your mindset. And if this sounds interesting, then let's get right into the video. So today I want to talk to you about the 1% rule. And I came across the 1% rule when I was reading one of the most amazing books about personal growth and development out there. And this is Atomic Habits by James Clear. And if you have been watching my past videos, then you must know that I love this book so much as it has brilliant insights regarding personal growth and development and how to install good habits that can serve us in the long term. And if you wish to check the book out, I'll be linking it down in the description below. So what is the 1% rule exactly? The 1% rule suggests, what if you got better at the thing that you want to improve by 1% every day? And if you continue doing this for a year, you're going to end up 37.78% better at the thing that you want to improve. And you can do the math, you can go and grab a calculator and plug in 1.01 .01 to the power of 365, you're going to end up with the answer of 37.78. I want you to imagine getting 37.78% better at the thing that you want to improve. And how amazing is this? So I came across the 1% rule during the summer. You can see me now, alhamdulillah, I'm uploading YouTube videos almost regularly and may Allah give me the strength to be consistent like this in the future. However, things weren't always this way before starting the YouTube channel. You know, I never thought that I could be able to talk comfortably and actually speak my mind in front of the camera. And this is because I used to be so insecure with the fact that I might sound funny or I might not look good in front of the camera or that I might say something stupid. And as a result, the people who watch the videos, I used to be so concerned with the fact that they might make fun of me or start thinking about me in a different way, and especially in a negative way. And almost every time when I thought about these things, I used to feel so much nervousness and anxiety. And I questioned myself that, should I even start the YouTube channel at all or not? Then I decided, okay, you know what? Let me try recording myself in front of the camera and see how it's like talking in front of the camera. So I did. And just so you know, this was around March 2020, which is like nine months ago. So then I went and grabbed my phone and turned on the camera and talked in front of the camera. Once I was done, I went and rewatched the video. And I'm gonna be so honest with you here. I didn't like what I saw. I cringed so hard like never before because I couldn't believe that it was me speaking in front of the camera. And I came to the conclusion that my speaking skills were so poor at the time that I couldn't start the YouTube channel like this. And if I didn't improve, then I might as well give up, you know? So when I was reading the book and specifically the chapter that was talking about the 1% rule, I was telling myself, okay, so my speaking skills are so poor and my skills cannot go below this. And all I can do is be better than I am right now. So I decided, okay, why not dedicate 30 minutes every day to practice and practice and practice my speaking skills, to improve my body language, to improve my vocabulary and the tone of my voice. So I did this, I did it for days and days and days. And it was a time when I had to get uncomfortable. I had to step out of my comfort zone because I had to stretch myself. And when you stretch yourself, this is when you start growing and this is when you start seeing results and a positive transformation. So long story short, I after doing this for days, slowly I started seeing an improvement in my speaking skills and I got to a point where I was proud with how much I overcame, with how much I improved. So then I was like, okay, enough with this perfectionism and let's upload my first YouTube video. And that video was 
how to master whatever skill that you want to master. And I'll link it down in the description below if you wish to check the video out. And guess what? Even till this day, when I go and watch the video, I still cringe. And I still wonder, why did I talk like this? Why were my hand gestures like that? But you know what? That's fine because it's all about progression. It's never about perfection. It's all about getting better every time. It's all about getting at least 1% better. You know, unfortunately, many people in the world aren't aware about the 1% rule. And therefore, they're not conscious and deliberate with what they want to get better at and what actions they want to take in order to get better. If you're aiming to be the best version of yourself and a better you, I want to encourage you to start embracing the 1% rule as it can inshallah help you undergo continuous personal growth in whatever thing that's going to help you become a better person. And again, that could be in any aspect of your life that's going to make you a better you, like your physical life. You want to implement a better exercise routine. You want to start eating better. You want to maybe start sleeping better, start reading, listen to a podcast regularly, or improve your interaction with people using your communication and leadership skills, whatever it is. And once you do this, not only you're going to start thinking differently, but you're going to start seeing the world in a different way. And guess what? The people around you, your loved ones, your friends and the people you work with, they're going to notice this positive transformation. And they're going to wonder, they're going to tell you, what did you do? How did you do this? And how amazing it is when someone acknowledges your growth. How amazing it is when someone acknowledges a transformation that you have gone through and how amazing you are now compared to how you were before. If you're willing to implement the 1% rule, which I'm assuming you want to since you're still watching the video, I want to invite you to think of something that you want to get better at. And again, whatever it is, start reading, start exercising more, uh, implement a better study routine to be more productive, wh whatever it is. And I want you to then write down one thing that you want to start doing tomorrow that will help you become 1% better. And once you have done that, I want you to set 30 minutes aside and deliberately work on that project during this 30 minutes and persist on doing this and don't be like most people you know most people yes they do have ambitions they do have goals they want to live a certain way a better way however they don't persist on doing this for a long time because they want results to come quickly they want the results to come instantly but i've got news for you this isn't meant to be easy and if it was easy then i'm sure everyone would have done this am i right so that's it for today's video i hope you found it interesting and useful and insightful and i hope you learned a thing or two from it if you're willing to implement the one percent rule again don't forget to write down this one thing that you want to start doing tomorrow to help you become one percent better and don't forget to set 30 minutes aside to work on that project and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this about personal growth and development and please don't forget to share with your friends and family and see you next week inshallah